you doing? Matthews here from Emmanuel Forex Traders. I hope you're doing great. I'm back again with another beautiful video for you guys. It's a live trade on GBPAUD on the four hour time frame. Uh, let me just show you the setup that we had before this trade was actually entered right here. So this is what we had. What a pretty, pretty good uh, setup. The usual setup. We had a QML low, high, high break of structure right there. And the market gave us a lower low. Then we had a resistance and another resistance right here. And then the market came to this level right here and took us, I mean, took the liquidity out. And then the market pushed to the upside. Let me just show you right now. You can see that the market pushed to the upside with nice momentum candles, right? And then just came to exactly this level here where we are waiting for price to actually uh, uh, react from. And we saw the market reacting from this level. However, I'd analyzed this, tra this trade. However, I didn't get into it in the first place. So the market dropped quite a fair bit. The market dropped, I think about, uh, let's see. The market dropped actually about 200 pips. I didn't, I didn't even take this particular trade. And then we saw the market coming back again to this level right there. Then I saw another opportunity to actually enter because I've seen this several times. It's been happening of late where the market drops, goes back up to that same level where this imbalance was created. As you can see right here, you see that the market actually gave us a rally based drop right here. Rally based drop with momentum candles. So therefore, there's still some... Uh, uh, orders which needed to be filled at that level right there. So once the market comes here, it's actually the, the second uh, opportunity for us to actually enter into uh, into this particular trade again. So when I saw that opportunity, I took it and I was able to share with uh, the private community this particular trade setup. So this, just like the previous one, it's going to be um, a live trade uh, series. So this is the first part of this uh, video. I'm going to update you guys on how this trade, this particular trade goes. And so far, so this particular trade is the 1 to 10 risk to reward ratio. Uh, we're risking about 61 pips to make about uh, 620 pips. So it's about, it's a 1 to 10 risk to reward ratio. Really, really, really good trade. So let me just show you that uh, I actually sent this particular setup to, with our private community. Here it is. Where is that particular trade? Uh, here is it. It's here right there here yeah you can see that the trade was sent and uh, so far so far so good so far we can realize that the market is actually uh dropping beautifully in our direction sorry about that it's dropping beautifully in our direction and uh yeah so far so good this was the trip before and uh now the market has moved quite just a fair bit yeah, it has moved quite a fair bit. So we see, uh, let's wait and see what happens. So far, it's looking really, really good, right? So yeah, we just uh, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give an update, guys, on the on, on how, how how this particular the uh, uh, particular setup moves, right? So let me show you the previous uh, trade that we took on um, on a Euro uh, Euro card. That trade turned out to be a pretty, 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 pretty good trade. It turned out to be a really an amazing, amazing trade. Yeah. So this is the trade. If you remember, you guys, I sh I told you that uh, at, uh, I was looking at this level, I was looking to hold this particular trade, and you can see how this trade has moved. This has been amazing so far. You can see it's almost close to our take profit and uh it's really 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 uh good it's really really good so far we're moving our stop loss and uh yeah if you remember the previous uh the previous uh euro card live trade i was looking at this is the one where we were able to predict uh of course using our our, our strategy the market was right here when we entered in, in, into this particular trade and right now we saw we've seen the market running to the downside really really nicely 
and I hope that uh, our private community really, really uh, enjoyed this particular trade because this was a really, really beautiful runner, one that we haven't had in a while. So this is actually a very, very beautiful trade. So you guys, make sure that you stick around, uh, and I'll show you how far that uh, GB, uh, GB, uh, GBP AUD trade moves. Okay, so please watch out for the second part of this video and uh, the subsequent videos. All right. This is day number two for GBP AUD trade that we actually took. So you remember you guys, let me just show you. You remember this trade I shared uh, the other day, yesterday. It was actually a very, very nice setup that we had. And if you see here, like I explained, the market first of all dropped. The market dropped. Some good pips and then the market pips and then the market push to the upside and then we entered from around this level right there and then since then the market has actually dropped over 140 pips right so remember you guys I, sh I showed you that i shared this particular trade with our private community right here let me just show you that right now where is that it will be a UD trade right here this was our entry right there and you can see that the market has now pushed over from our entry right here the market has pushed over one 140 pips and it's down with tracing and today is friday so i don't know whether i should actually hold this particular trade to the take profit risk level right here or i should just get out of the market because at any particular time anything can happen and this is the weekend it's really really risky and everything so I'll be able to make the decision later on. If I do hold this particular trade, I'll let you know. However, if you see this uh, video, probably I didn't hold this particular trade to the target, right? Because uh, anything can happen. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and move my stop loss to slightly, uh, slightly break even, right there. So at least, if, uh, whatever happens with this particular trade. I know that I'm not going to be a loser in this one, right? So you can see that a lot of uh, previous laws have been broken. Therefore, there's a, there's a higher chance that the market can actually continue to go to the downside. So there are levels like this which can actually hold price to keep on pushing to the downside and uh, all that. All right. So a really really nice trade overall and a uh, really really good uh, entry right there. Yeah. So. Uh, Another trade I wanted to show you guys is um, the Euro card trade I, I shared on Monday with the private community. This trade has turned out to be a um, banger. This one has turned out to be a really, really, really good trade. Let me just show you in a minute right now. This trade was amazing. It was really, really, really amazing. So it was a one, two. Uh, 12 risk to reward ratio imagine that and we took this on monday this trade was taken on monday let me just show you that i also shared this particular trade with our private community on monday it was right here you can see where the entry was a very very sick entry look at that beautiful entry right there and now the market has actually reached our tp and pushed to the upside this was amazing guys this was amaz an amazing amazing trade right so you guys the market never moved in a straight line so give chance for the market to move right give it chance to actually play out you'd have been easily taken out you know if you move the stop loss too early you'd have been taken out right prematurely and the market continues to go in a direction by the way this is the base trade for the week uh, it's really really done well the other trade that, that, that are still running right now we have uh, we have we have uh, euro uh, Swiss still running it's about uh, a little bit of good pips good amount of pips in profit right now uh, I think let me see it has moved about uh, let me just check though it's now retracing as well so it moved over over 130 pips and now it's moving 
uh, we don't know whether it's going to we don't know whether it's going to continue to go to the upside or to the downside however we're still holding let me just show you the euro swiss right here you can see where our entry was right there and i've already moved my stop loss to break even and from our entry the market actually dropped over 120 pips and so far it's uh, gone back to about uh, half right so, so far we have dropped it up of about 55 pips so we don't know what's going to happen here whether the market is going to contribute to, down to the upside or not right so however we've uh, actually stopped uh, put our 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 stop loss to break even and therefore we are not losing anything in this particular trade the other trade we are we are still holding is a uh, aud card this one it's really really getting it's still really it's really it's, this trade is shy it doesn't want to move to the upside i shared this trade after that i make i had made a video on this one it's going to be actually posted later on otherwise this is where the market actually went push the outside the bit and then it's still dropping right there and uh, yeah so otherwise the highlight for this video was this trade right here uh the gbp AUD, and you can see that uh, it's actually respecting this level and it's almost, almost dropping at a particular level it would be nice to see the market uh breaking these lows here breaking these lows right here so that can actually go to the ups to the downside so far so good otherwise uh i'll let you know when i'm going to post this video right now i'm going to keep it until next week i might post this video today however this trade is going to keep on running just like the previous uh you guys you guys i hope that you find value in this i hope that you learn get to learn something about how, how we trade and uh, if by any chance you'd like to join the team we offer mentorship we offer signals we sell ebooks as well right so if you're really interested in any of those the links are down in the description uh, get, get in touch right get in touch and uh, get to trade with us real real time okay you guys i really wish you a very very good weekend enjoy your weekend here in zambia it's already 2030 so very soon the market is going to be closing until next time guys goodbye and god bless you